Welcome to Chiro Life, chiropractic health insights for robust optimization. We are going to help you live life in full expression. Do I have to go forever? Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this series of videos. Look, this is truly binge worthy. If you haven't watched more yet, go back, watch them all. There's so much wonderful value content and information here that I think will open you up to a new understanding of chiropractic and how to live your life fully and completely. And this conversation is such a really, uh, oftentimes a charged conversation, and I hear it, you know, as an interesting conversation to people who don't really quite understand what chiropractic is about. That chiropractic is about optimizing your life, your health, allowing you to express life fully and completely. And so they might say something like, when I go to the chiropractor, do I really have to go forever? Is this something I have to do for the rest of my life once I start? And the answer is, no, of course not. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You will always have the choice to come in, get adjusted, leave when you want to leave, return when you want to return, or in fact, see another chiropractor, another practitioner, and make whatever choice you want for your health, for your life, we support you in that decision. There is, of course, another angle to that. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever started exercising, noticed that you're getting fitter, maybe losing a little bit of weight, toning up, and thought, oh right, I've lost those couple of kilos or a couple of pounds and I'm feeling much better. I can stop exercising now, job done. Of course not, that doesn't make sense. What about this? You've decided that you're going to do a detox. You're, you know, you're going to eat well, you're going to eliminate the fast food, the junk food, the processed food. You're taking sugar out of your diet, tea, coffee, alcohol, all gone. And you are feeling, oh my gosh, amazing. Then you go, yeah, time to really dose up on some you know, taboo foods and substances and do a bit of substance abuse, uh, you know, eat all the wrong foods. I can have a litre of ice cream a night for the next week and I'm going to fill up on pastries. I know I'm a bit bloated, but hey, that's okay. I dieted last week. That doesn't make sense either. Well, what about this? Have you ever thought, you know what, as long as I just have one day where I'm not stressed, I can be stressed for the remaining six days of the week, and I can recover on my Sunday because you know you're meant to have one rest day. Look, we can live like that, but obviously it doesn't make sense. What makes sense is to make positive choices a habit, and positive habits part of our daily practice. Meaning, if I want to be healthy and fit, I want to exercise on a regular and consistent basis, not just now, not just this week or next week, on an ongoing basis. The more consistent I am, the better results that I get, the greater health I will experience, the greater fitness I'll have. And when I stop doing that, and frankly, it doesn't seem fair to me either, but when I stop doing the exercise, I lose my fitness. When you don't use it, you lose it. So it's better to maintain the habit and to maintain the discipline. Look, there are two types of pain, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The pain of discipline is doing what you need to do to get where you want to get to. The pain of regret is the pain, the soreness, the weight gain, the tightness, the fatigue that happens when you fail to make the decisions you know are going to get you to where you want to get to. It's about the discipline of eating the right foods on a consistent and regular basis, of getting the right amount of rest, of prayer, relaxation, breath work, meditation. Consistency supports the body in functioning the way you want it to function, in healing in a way that is capable of healing so that you can live in the way you're capable of living. And the same is true for the chiropractic adjustment. You can get an adjustment when you're in pain and feel better and function better. Today, maybe tomorrow. You don't have to have ongoing care, but when you do, chiropractic works best over time. It's the accumulated benefit of the adjustment that maximizes your health, that allows for robust, optimized living of your whole being. And that is the beauty and gift of chiropractic. And that's why I get adjusted each week. Why I adjust my family each week. I encourage people to get adjusted on a weekly or even fortnightly basis on an ongoing you know, basis so you can live that chiropractic lifestyle and fulfill your health and life potential. So in short, no, you don't have to come back. We'd love you to because I know what it means for you, for your health, for the health of your family. And I encourage you to live the car life.
I trust you enjoyed this video, got some great insights, and it can help you move in the direction of better health and well-being. And as always, if you need anything, just reach out. We're here for you at Provolution Health. Email us at info at provolutionhealth.com.au or call us on 02 6299 2660. I wish you Kyra in life.